Hello, how's it going? Long time no see. Welcome back to some more F1 Manager 2022 in another part of the Aston Martin career mode in Season 4. Um, make sure you check out my update video from yesterday. I am hoping that this will be the permanent return of the series. Um, it, it, it has been crazy recently in terms of uh, time. To, to actually record an hour and a half's worth of, of F1 Manager. That, that's kind of what you have to leave yourself open to, um, to, to, to be able to record it. But thank you for your patience. I really hope that you're, you're happy it's back. Um, if you are, then do hit that thumbs up button down below. It would be great if we can re-inject the series with a bit of life straight away and you can do that by leaving a like getting involved down in the comment section and of course if you haven't already subscribing for more um but thank you for the the incredible support we're 76 episodes in now um and uh quickly approaching 100 uh, no plans to stop this series at all um at this point we've got the british grand prix today that's going to be an exciting one i really can't wait to get into it so let's uh, immerse ourselves into the action uh, Carlos Sainz already has a development point, so let's uh, pop that on to his control. Um, staff, do any other staff have any? No, they don't. So, uh, let's keep going. Um, of course, we've had an incredible season so far. Um, a great race in Monaco uh, and Baku and uh, Canada. And now looking forward to... Well, I think... Did, did we have the French Grand Prix as well? Let's have a look at the, the, the calendar. Uh, no, that was... No, the French Grand Prix is after after this one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, last time out we had the... Uh, the very dominant Lewis Hamilton um, extend his lead in the driver's standing. So he's currently 10 points ahead of Carlos Sainz in second into the constructors. We are 200 points ahead already of uh, Red Bull, which is, is great. So... Um, yes, Oscar Piastri's contract ending soon. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't think we need to worry about that too much yet. You know, this game doesn't have any sort of uh, function where other teams will will come in and. Uh, take our drivers off us so you know we don't need to worry and when we're not actually going to be with um aston martin next season we, we do need to remember that there you go there's the unread email it was really annoying me let's get ourselves into the british grand prix then here we go obviously last year we had gasly and alonso clashing on the first lap here we're here in legendary Silverstone, where the very first Formula One World Championship Grand Prix was held back in 1950. It's a place where every tuft of grass breathes motorsport, and the crowd are already crackling with excitement. Silverstone demands a lot of power from cars, with numerous twists and historic turns. Downforce is going to be a key factor to manage if teams want to succeed here. The season is about halfway through, and it makes me wonder, what else is in store for the teams? Well, there's only one way to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Formula One. Right, let's have a look at the weather then. Uh, looking pretty clear, so I'll see you guys for qualifying. Well, one and two in final practice. Carlos Sainz ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Uh, we have struggled with the setup this weekend, so only 83% and 86% on the setup confidence. Um, we are going to need some... Uh, well, we're probably not, uh, I should say, going to need any uh, soft tyres this weekend. So we will simulate sessions one and two and see how we get on. Uh, one and two in qualifying one very good and let's see how we get on in q2 should be very very similar oh one and three ocon managing to split our cars there uh, max was stepping there in p4 magnuson and vettel are through Zhou guan yu continuing his good qualifying form sergio perez continuing to outperform charles leclerc and pierre gasly a bit of a shock who knocks out uh, george russell 
in Q2. So going out in Q1 and Q2 then Latifi, Stroll, Giovinazzi, Sonoda, Schumacher, then Bottas, Albon, Russell, Ricardo, and Charles Leclerc. So let's get ourselves into Q3 then. Here we go. Let's see how we get on, of course. Uh, probably just um, the one run in Q3. Yep, all good. So we only have one brand new set of soft tyres. So let's... Uh, Wait until the very last moment. Lewis Hamilton has been quicker than his teammate signs this weekend, so he'll get the opportunity to go last. Um, but at the moment, Ocon quickest. Magnussen goes quicker. Um, waiting for Max Verstappen coming round. He's coming round now. The final sector and Verstappen only seventh. So what a top ten that is. Kevin Magnussen currently on pole position. Ocon second, Joe Guan Yu in third, Gasly fourth, then Perez Norris, Verstappen seventh, and Sebastian Vettel a long, long way off the pace. Right, let's have a little look at tyres. Does Vettel... No, I thought Vettel may have new tyres. He doesn't, though. Sainz is going to go out now. He's going to join these boys. And then... Lewis Hamilton just after and we'll watch the seven times world champion and see what he can do I think Verstappen will probably improve here but yes let's see what Lewis Hamilton can do on a lap of Silverstone we'll keep an eye on uh, Carlos Sainz's times as well but here we go we're starting the lap just under 20 seconds to spare so absolutely perfect Hamilton over the line and now chasing after another pole position this season. He's had a very, very good time in qualifying this year. Carlos Sainz right behind Max Verstappen. He comes through the first sector purple in that first sector. I'm expecting Max Verstappen to be slightly quicker. Zhou Guan Yu looking like he's a little bit quicker. He's coming through uh, store right now into the final couple of corners. Zhou Guan Yu comes round those final couple of corners is he going to manage to jump up any further here comes Zhou Guan Yu over the line it's a yellow third sector so no improvement overall Vettel he certainly could be somebody that does improve he's coming around the final couple of corners can he go above Max Verstappen that's his target he's coming over the line Sebastian Vettel and he goes third what a time for him Vettel up to third then here comes uh, Max Verstappen, he's the next one that you're expecting to improve as he doesn't have the traffic through this final corner. Signs just behind him, but Max Verstappen comes over the line. Where's he going to pop up to? Oh, he goes pole. Signs comes across the line. He goes pole now. Max Verstappen, I don't know where he pulled that from, but Lewis Hamilton now comes around the final corner. And Lewis Hamilton only second. He'll be absolutely devastated. Lewis Hamilton in second, but it's Carlos Sainz who takes pole position here in Great Britain. Only 23 thousandths of a second between them. Max Verstappen will start third with Kevin Magnussen fourth, Ocon fifth, Vettel sixth, Zhou Guan Yu in seventh, Gasly eighth, Perez ninth, and Lando Norris rounding out the top ten. Race day has arrived and the time has come for these drivers to fight it out wheel to wheel. There was some astonishing work from Aston Martin during qualifying and their drivers are now poised to have a very strong race start. This weekend, Red Bull displayed promise during qualifying. Now they need to capitalise on their grid position and get a good race under their belts. And the sky is looking grey and cloudy today. An effective tyre strategy could prove very valuable as the race plays out. This is sure to be quite the spectacle then. And we've got a front row seat for today's race here at Silverstone. Right then, here we go, ready for race day. It looks like it's going to be uh, a two-stop strategy um, is potentially going to be the best way to do it. Um, I'm, not, I'm not certain though. Let's have a little look at this. So Lewis Hamilton... Um, I think Lewis is going to go for the two-stop. I 
Carlos Sainz is going to go for the one stopper. It's it's going to be interesting. You save that time in the pit stop, but um, of course Lewis can be a little bit more aggressive while he's out on track. That's that's the advantage of doing a two stopper. Um, you know we're looking at potentially being seven seconds quicker there, but it could all turn out bad if Lewis Hamilton runs out of tyres towards the, the end of the Grand Prix. So, uh, we'll pop three extra laps of fuel in for both drivers uh, and we'll see how we get on in this race. Of course, Carlos Sainz uh, playing the, the, the slow race. Uh, be interesting to see what other guys do as well. So, let's get ourselves into it. Carlos Sainz starting on pole position. He's got the advantage. It's a bit of a cloudy day for the race, but the atmosphere as ever is electric. Taking a look here at Carlos Sainz. P1 today. Let's see if they can take advantage of that position. Looking down the grid, it's Hamilton. They're in second place on the grid, but that could so easily change in the first few seconds of the race. Everything's been building to this. Anticipation is high, and the drivers are ready for this. The British Grand Prix. And it's lights out. Lights out. Away, and we, away go. we go. Let's see what happens going into turn one. Lewis Hamilton and Carlos Sainz going into the first corner side by side. But Sainz manages to stay ahead because Kevin Magnussen going side by side with uh, Max Verstappen. He goes down the inside. Can Magnussen stay ahead? No, because Verstappen is going to have the inside line now and they're going to run all the way down the Wellington Straits here because Hamilton is chasing after Carlos Sainz at the start of this Grand Prix. He will be looking to take advantage of the fact he is stopping twice today. Um, but Magnussen doesn't manage to get past Max Verstappen, so he's in third at the moment. Magnussen in fourth, but then they are possibly going to be going side by side in the cop's corner so here we go then kevin magnuson pulls out of the slipstream is he gonna brave it down the inside no he's not he just stays right behind uh max verstappen ocon is currently in fifth then joe guan yu in sixth gasly is seventh with perez eighth vettel ninth and charles leclerc rounding out the top ten then you've got lots and lots of cars side by side here norris in 11th then ricardo and uh, russell side by side then behind them uh, we've got Bottas and uh, is it Albon side by side? Yes, it is. Oh, this is close. Very, very close. No contact this time. And that's what happened last year. And, of course, we end the first lap. We've got Carlos Sainz leading the way. Lewis Hamilton desperately trying to get past his teammate there in second. Uh, we're going to drop down their ERS deployment. They're out of the one-second window to Max Verstappen. So now it's just uh, who fancies having a fight more and who fancies winning this race of course Lewis Hamilton will be disappointed he didn't get pole position yesterday after showing the pace all weekend but here we are onto the Wellington straight Lewis Hamilton follows Carlos Sainz in second position here Max Verstappen is in third Magnussen is in fourth with uh, Alcon fifth and then Joe in sixth so very very exciting so far but there, uh, Carlos Sainz doing a great job of leading the race, controlling the pace at the moment. We're two seconds ahead of Max Verstappen. That's what's Im impressive at the moment. As it looks like, I thought Ma maybe Magnussen was going to have a little go there. I think he will be up into third before long. So, here we go then. Let's see. How we're getting on. No luck there. Carlos Sainz still leading the way. No. DRS, of course, will be becoming enabled next lap. DRS enabled. So here we go then. On to lap three of this Grand Prix. 
is Carlos Sainz going to be able to defend from Lewis Hamilton? For some reason, Hamilton has more ERS deployment in the bank. I'm not really sure how that's happened, but here we go then. Using a little bit of DRS. But no look at this stage of the race. just absolutely unbelievable racing it really really is well this is the first real chance then and they're side by side please don't crash no Lewis Hamilton now into the lead of this Grand Prix and uh, it, it really is a, a question of does Carlos Sainz stay with him is that worth it for his race because he needs to go slow and steady but uh, Lewis is going to push on he's obviously going to try and get more than a second ahead but that's going to be extremely difficult in this race but um, yeah good start to the race nice battling that's what we want to see between our two drivers who's obviously leading the championship at the moment so Sainz will want to come back at him and here we go then this could be another chance for Carlos Sainz, he's right behind. But Lewis Hamilton stays in front for now. Right, uh, let's zoom it forward. I think we're going to see quite a few changes of lead. We'll see if uh, Sainz manages to get past on the hangar straight here. He is side by side, and there we go. That is Carlos Sainz through, and Lewis Hamilton back down into second place. Now, we'll see how that goes that faster slap from signs there very good to see yeah. oh it looks like we've uh, just had a, a very good overtake possibly through Cops corner there but uh, we won't get to see it again Hamilton leading the way Kevin Magnussen currently the person up in P3 we did have brief yellow flags there, I assume it was Lance Stroll yes, Lance Stroll did lock up so it looks like these two are going to battle in this uh, first stint and Hamilton of course is going to be coming in in around about 10 laps time, it's going to be another 15 laps or so until uh, Carlos Sainz comes into the pits 4.5 uh, seconds is the is the gap to third place as it stands so very very good Carlos signs and Lewis battling it out but uh, it's not going to be won and lost in this first stint this race that's uh, what we have to remember for both drivers and that's why it's not worth really changing anything at this point. But uh, let's keep an eye on the next lap or so for these guys and see what can happen. I'll let uh, the game audio take priority. This is just absolutely awesome racing, isn't it? You know, they're just absolutely glued to each other. You know, it's like Alonso and Gasly all over again, but better somehow, better. And here we go then, Lewis Hamilton is going to have DRS once again. Is he going to pull out to the outside? Doesn't look like he is, to be honest. It's 
Sainz's tyres are of course going to be better than Lewis's at this stage of the stint. Hamilton might have a little look down the inside, doesn't quite go for it though. And now on to his own name straight, the Hamilton straight. Lewis Hamilton still chasing after Carlos Sainz. Very, very good stuff so far. Um, and of course, we're not that far off Lewis Hamilton's pit window now. But Hamilton leading the race, so he must have got past Sainz, I think it was maybe on the Wellington straight. then Lewis Hamilton into the pit window we have got yellow flags somewhere or other it looks like it's potentially Yuki Tsunoda I think Did he's had a spin yep he has so Lewis is going to go aggressive for the next couple of laps we'll give him his ERS deployment as well just keep the pressure on Lewis you can do this uh, okay before he comes into the pits. Let's see, will he get past here? Looks like he has done. Good stuff. So we are low on battery at the moment. Understood. So, where does Hamilton come back out? That's perhaps the big question here. Is where will Lewis come? Oh, we've got safety car. Safety car. Right then. So Hamilton's going to come in. I think there's been contact on the track. Let's see what happened there. So what's happened now, here? Just focus on the Haas. And they are side by side here. Does the Haas lock up? Oh, he does go straight into the back of the There's Alfa Romeo. The Don't it's think, actually. Carnage. No, it's not. A, it's not actually a safety car. So we will delay that it's by a lap. Um, yeah, that's fine. So let's keep going. People are starting to come into the pits. This is going to play well into the hands of Lewis Hamilton. So it looks like most people are going to be one-stopping. So here we go then. Lewis Hamilton to come into the pits. Here he comes. And Carlos Sainz now assumes the lead of the Grand Prix. And this is his chance to, to push as hard as he can. So Lewis is in. Let's see how good a pit stop he can pull out here fastest lap from Lewis Hamilton despite being <laughs> in, in the pit lane that's hilarious that is absolutely hilarious so here we go then Lewis Hamilton away again he comes out just behind um, Antonio Giovinazzi so we'll still push him. We don't need to push him too hard. Carlos Sainz still at the head of this race. Still around about six laps away from his pit window. Lewis Hamilton on the brand new hard tyres. And let's push. He's going to be pushing them, of course. Carlos Sainz out front. through the hangar straight now what's his middle sector time a 39.4 so we'll keep an eye on Lewis Hamilton's middle sector time of course we've got to remember Hamilton will be pitting again so what's his middle sector time he's coming through now a 39.1 so Hamilton three tenths quicker than his teammate in that middle sector there Okay then, Vettel into the pits now. Hamilton's starting to close in on Antonio Giovinazzi. 
We'll see how quickly he can get past him. It's a purple first sector for Lewis Hamilton. This could well be a move into cops if he gets close enough here. It's getting very, very close. It's going to be an easy move on the hangar straight. Let's have a little look at the gap to the leader. 19.1 seconds. As soon as sign drops below 50%, then we'll go full aggression. So here we go then. Lewis is going to get caught behind now. Come on, mate. Copy. So this is uh, problematic for Lewis. It's going to be a faster slap, but... The, the DRS quickly. It's been caught behind Giovinazzi too much here. And this could be crucial for his race. There you go, he pulls to the inside this time. And that's him past Antonio Giovinazzi. This guy just just gone mental. So 5.6 seconds is the gap between him and Lando Norris. Aston Martin with a great play there. So Lewis Hamilton is through. Carlos Sainz still doing a decent job out top. Putting in good sector times. That's his personal best middle sector. Lewis Hamilton in theory should be going purple probably. Yep, now that he's not got Giovinazzi in his way. Carlos Sainz still a few laps away from being on that optimal pitting lap. So let's uh, zoom it forward a little bit. There's Lewis Hamilton still pushing, still closing in on Lando Norris, of course. And Gasly and Verstappen in the pit lane. So Hamilton up to third now. As Carlos Sainz still doing a great job out top. And he will be coming into the pits for his one and only pit stop this lap. So we're going to move him down to standard now. As Lewis Hamilton. Back it out. Back it out. Didn't quite catch Norris. But is now very much in his own little world here. will be taking the lead but of course Lewis Hamilton will be pitting again so here we go then Carlos signs into the pit lane now how far behind Lewis is he going to come out here as I say remember Carlos signs doesn't need to come through the pits for this period of time and this is what 34.4 seconds for a full pit stop. There you go, Lewis Hamilton is through. But, um... You know, Hamilton five seconds ahead, of course, signs. That's the fresher tyres. Going round about 15 laps until Lewis Hamilton will be coming into the pit lane. So... Um, I think it's probably time that we harvested both guys' as ERS oh, okay. to give themselves a, a full boost in the final stint. Obviously, signs not that far ahead of uh, Kevin Magnussen, but should be able to comfortably deal with him. As uh, Sergio Perez puts in the faster slap of the race so far. Someone spun out. Yeah, let's just double check that. That's going to be absolutely full. And, uh, 
put them on to normal. Seems fine by me. Oh, and that's Hamilton running wide. That's not going to help. He's okay, though, I think. I don't know how much time he will have lost to signs there. We'll soon find out. Yeah, well, not, not a lot at all. It was only a couple of tenths of a second, so... Hamilton does seem to be increasing that gap to Carlos pretty quickly here. 5.7 seconds. But, of course, the, the real problem Hamilton is going to face is going to be coming back through the field. You know, we've got, what, eight laps until Hamilton comes in? You know, he needs to really get that gap open to Ricardo, Perez, Leclerc. You know, he does not want to be coming out near them but what we do know is that other guys are doing two stoppers as well or well, at least that's what we think they're doing based on how early they came into the pits you know earlier than, than Lewis Hamilton away. so um, pit window is just open for, for Lewis and probably extend it a little bit you know he's a, he's a good distance ahead of Carlos Every second that he loses to Carlos, there's another second he has to make up on track. So, we'll see. We're going to go fully aggressive now. With Lewis. Is that a lockup? And as I say, we are expecting other people to be coming into the pits very, very shortly. So, Lewis Hamilton is going to come in this lap. He's going to pop on a brand new set of medium tyres. And there you go, big gaggle of cars coming into the pit lane. Carlos needs to absolutely nail this in lap. Because he is losing time to Signs. And Signs very comfortably in second place at the moment. But Lewis will be coming in and changing to the two stop strategy. Drop that back down to aggressive. There are yellow flags in sector two. I don't know what happened, but Lewis is in. Here we go then. Oh, we've had Somebody a spun in. It was uh, Yuki Sonoda, I think. So here comes Lewis Hamilton. Is he going to set a new fastest lap here? Mm, not quite, I don't think. But uh, there you go, Carlos signs now. Retakes the lead of this Grand Prix. Hamilton's in. Brand new set of medium tyres. And he's going to come out behind Vettel and Gasly. But uh, well ahead of anybody else. So ahead of Lando Norris, which is good. So Lewis Hamilton now has a chance to utilise his pace. He needs to make up 17 seconds on his teammate in the final 14 laps. I'm not sure he's going to have it, you know. I'm not sure he's going to have it. He's got Verstappen in there as well. But um, we will see. Carlos Sainz chilling out front at the moment. He'll be delighted with how much time he's got on Lewis. And of course, looking after those tyres somebody's locked up in sector one and it's uh, one of the McLarens it's Bottas he's okay he's okay I thought potentially that could be a safety car track. which would ruin Carlos Sainz's race right now although if there was a safety car we'd, we'd of course have to bring in Carlos and put him on to a a set of, a brand new set of mediums. Vettel in the pits now. And so is Hamilton going very, very quickly out there. The purple medium sector, green final sector. So time to zoom it on a little bit. 
We have more yellow flags in sector one. Oh, there's a spin! And I'm very, very intrigued to see what will happen to Lando Norris. He's up in fifth place. I think he's one stopping, so. And now then Hamilton starting to close in on these two guys. And it will be the time to deploy his ERS here to try and get past both of them. So here we go, we've got Max Verstappen. Two cars in front. And Pierre Gasly up in third for Mercedes. It's been by far his best performance in a Mercedes car so far. Now with DRS and ERS. Should be able to get past at least Max Verstappen here. He goes round the outside. But Verstappen stays there, and Hamilton is stuck, officially. Well, here we go. This could be a chance now down the inside of Pierre Gasly. Through goes Hamilton. Oh, this is very, very close. This could be risky. Going into turn one, side by side. He's putting his championship on the line because he wants to win the British Grand Prix. He goes down the inside now of Gasly and he's right behind Max Verstappen. This should be Hamilton's Such opportunity. Such clean racing, it's uh, brilliant to see. DRS enabled like and he's surely gonna go around the outside and he does. And now he's gonna deploy to try and get more than a second ahead. Well, he's, he's already pulling away. Really well executed. Let's see what sort of uh, time he can put in here. We want to get that faster slap back off Kevin Magnussen. There's 10 laps to go here. He's not quite making up enough time on signs as it stands. Comes through the middle sector. It's, of course, purple. He's not really making up that much time on his teammate. So here he comes round the final corner. And that's actually not fast to slap, interestingly. Time to zoom it through and see if Lewis Hamilton can get up to the back of his teammate in these final few laps. Ten seconds is the gap. Now, of course, the, the other variable in this is Sainz's tyres are going to be beneath 50% in the next couple of laps, which will mean Hamilton will have a very, very large tyre advantage on his teammate. Eight seconds is the gap for Stappen and Gasly battling for P3, the one stop. As Ocon up to fifth now. Um, no real other shocks in the top ten other than Perez and Leclerc both out of the top ten. So Ferrari really, really struggling at the Who's moment. Wide there? So then Hamilton now just five and a half seconds behind four seconds uh, four laps to go and Sainz's tires officially dropping off so this this could be a really exciting end to this Grand Prix now Carlos Sainz leading the way four more laps and we've got five seconds to his teammate Lewis Hamilton Now, we would like to get faster slap back off Kevin Magnussen here. I don't actually know what the faster slap of the race is. But um, Science has got a bit of ERS to play with. And 
4.3 seconds behind now. I mean, he's he's making up a lot of time. And you can hear the fans, they're, they're loving it. They're absolutely loving it. They would absolutely love it if Lewis Hamilton takes 25 points here. And look how close he's getting now. 4.2 seconds is the gap. It was a knife edge between the strategies of which one was quicker. <laughs> it certainly seems like that's going to remain the case here. Three more laps included in this one. So, Carlos Sainz now gets the chance to utilise a bit of his ERS. We want faster slap at the end of the day. Sainz may well be the one to get it. Hamilton has just got so much more grip through the corners. So, time to zoom it through. Hamilton needs to attack now. Everything you've got. You're good. I think Hamilton can deploy his ERS here. Oh, Sainz's battery is empty. Now that could bring about an interesting end. I think Sainz is going to hang on though, you know. He's got four seconds on his teammate. I think that little burst of ERS has just done the trick. Three point eight seconds the gap. So Science will have a little bit of ERS for the final lap. Here we go. Okay, final lap. Three point seven seconds separates them. Copy. Carlos Sainz doing a terrific job. He took pole position, which gave him the one stop strategy. And it looks like the one stop is going to be three and a half seconds quicker. It's a bit low on battery. Hamilton moment. still pushing yep. hard. But ultimately, it's going to be his teammate that gets the glory here and closes the championship gap. Somebody's locked up. It's uh, Giovinazzi, I think. It was Giovinazzi on the last lap as well. Very disappointing for him. So Carlos signs onto the hangar straight now. And unless there's a big mistake from him, he is going to win the British Grand Prix. So here he comes then, Carlos signs round the final couple of corners is going to reduce the gap between himself and his teammate in the championship Carlos Sainz wins the British Grand Prix okay that's the checkered flag and Lewis Hamilton comes over Thank the line in second it that was a, a very try, valiant yeah, attempt but uh, it wasn't to be and for Carlos Lewis Sainz with the two stop win. strategy it was a great Victory for Carlos. Be disappointed with the race like that. A consummate professional through and through. And uh, of course, Lewis Hamilton takes second. And it's another one two in the bank for Aston Martin. Max Verstappen, I think, is going to take 
third place. He is coming up to the line now. Ham Verstappen finishes third. Gasly, a brilliant fourth. Really happy for him. Ocon finishes fifth with Vettel coming across the line in sixth. Zhou Kuan Yu, another brilliant result in seventh. And Kevin Magnussen will finish eighth and has the fastest lap. Ricardo ninth, Norris tenth holds off Perez. Uh, no points for Ferrari as Leclerc comes over the line in 13th. Russell comes over the line. He's going to finish 14th. He'll be very disappointed that he's not matched his teammate at his home Grand Prix. Stroll and Albon, 15th and 16th. Then Sonoda comes over the line in 17th. Latifi is going to hold off. Valtteri Bottas for 18th position and Mick Schumacher well long long way off the pace for Mick Schumacher this weekend his teammate up in the points in 7th place and Mick Schumacher the last of the runners over the line in 20th position but that doesn't take anything away from Carlos Sainz who wins the Grand Prix What a fantastic result for Carlos Sainz. What a beautiful sight that is on the podium and a true crowning achievement for everyone involved. And with that, the science name remains engraved in F1 history. Today's competitors gave it their all, but it's going to be those three taking home the big points. Aston Martin having an extremely good day at the track. It's really wonderful to see all the hard work they've been putting in paying off like this. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. Next time, the teams will be forging ahead at full throttle through the Styrian Forest. The Austrian Grand Prix is right around the corner. Well, there you go then. Oh, another one-two this season for our guys. In the Drivers' Championship, Hamilton, uh, of course, has five wins. Carlos Sainz has four, um, but they're five each four pole positions. It's been a really interesting battle between them this year, but Lewis Hamilton leading the race by three points. Uh, we extend our lead in the Constructors to 218 points. Very, very good stuff. Uh, let's have a little look at um, all of this. So Hamilton's got another development point. None for Sainz uh, and none for Oscar Piastri either. £4.9 million pound in the bank. Um, very, very happy with that. And we've done some front wing research, which is good. So uh, working on next year's car, of course, because we want to see... We want to see what happens. Uh, Oscar Piastri's got a couple of development points, which is wonderful to see. And, of course, we'll be allocating them in the next episode as we go to the Red Bull ring in Austria. I really hope you've enjoyed that episode. If you have, then give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more F1 videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.